Here we have Storyboard That. This is where you have the ability to track and drop pictures and images and backgrounds to help you tell your story. You can create a free account at storyboardthat.com. You would start off, uh, you have a free trial where you have the ability to uh, have up to 9 to 12 panels. Where you can track and drop some things, so I'm going to start right from here. They have some templates already made up for um, so I'm in the site now, and you can see up top I have everything broken down for me to go in order. So maybe the scene of my story that I'm trying to tell you all about takes place in the street. But then my character walks down the street, and then they end up at the movie theater. You can see each thing that I've dropped in. I can flip, I can rotate, uh, lock, change the color do some nice filters on it. You can even change some of the individual color aspects. You can easily get lost in the customization factor of this tool. So, you get that. My next thing is I'm going to do is I'm going to search for my characters. They are broken down by other subcategories. So maybe if I go to Monsters and Myths, I can pick a wizard. And again, I could change the scale of the wizard. Maybe I want his pose and uh, different layers if I want him behind things. And again, I want to get into the customization factor. So maybe he wants to have a green robe. Okay. But then I have my next scene. I can drag in another character and so on. Now I have my textables. Do I want a caption for the bottom? Do I want someone talking? Do I want somebody thinking? So I can grab one of these drag it down. Again, change the scale. You can grab a dot here and just change it that way. Right? So we have that, and this is where uh, he would type. And again, we have the text and color options. Shapes, if you want to have some shapes, they're in there. Uh, tools that you might want them to be having. You can drag that in too, so lots of fun stuff. You can also um, upload some images if you wanted to for your computer. But let's say I'm all done. So I would hit save. And uh, we'll go through this process. So I'm going to skip this, but basically the main downside with this program, if you're using the free tool, is that you're um, you're going to get a watermark image. So what your students can do instead is uh, have them take a screenshot of what they turn of their finished work, and then turn that into Google Classroom or perhaps post it on a Weebly or somewhere else. So that is Storyboard. That um, I would just recommend your final export option be a screenshot of the work that they did. Thanks so much. You have a great day.